مرحباً بكم إلى درس الثالث عشر في برنامج كلم العربية مع أوباكيت على قناة أوباكيت لينك الآن بإذن الله تعالى سأتحدث عن ضمير الغائب ما الأمثلة التوديهية لنبدأ Welcome to the 13th lesson of Speak Arabic with Our Kids program. Today, inshallah, we are going to talk about the third person pronoun in Arabic language, coupled with examples and sentences. In the previous lesson, we talked about first person pronoun and we said first person pronoun is used to relate to the person that is talking. In a sentence. In the next lesson, we said second person pronoun is used to relate to the person we are talking to in a sentence. But now we are talking about the third person pronoun. The third person pronoun, the ma really got it. What is the third person pronoun? The third person in Arabic is known as the me really got it. They are pronouns referring to the third person who is not present at the point of our discussion. It is also divided into singular, dual and plural pronouns. In our previous lessons, we said first person is divided into singular and plural pronouns. In the next lesson, we said second person is divided into singular, dual, and plural pronouns. But now, in this, we said the third person pronoun is divided into singular, dual, and plural pronouns, like the second person pronouns. Examples. Let us read these examples. Hua means he for masculine. Here means she for feminine. Huma de for dual. Hum de for masculine plural. Hunna de for feminine plural. Who? Who means his or him for masculine? Ha. Ha means. Her for feminine. Huma, there are them for dual. Hum, there are them for masculine plural. Hunna, there are them for feminine plural. However, the third person pronouns, like the first and second person pronouns, also are divided into one attached pronouns. Adama erli mutasilat. Two. Detached pronouns Adama Euli Munfasila. One, the detached third person pronoun Adami Euli Munfasilu Lili Gaibe. These are the third person pronouns are separated from other words, stand on their own without being attached to anything. Examples Here are some examples. Hua means he. Example is Hua Jalasa. It is singular masculine. Here means she. Example is Hia Jalasa. For singular feminine. Huma De. Example is Huma Jalasa. For dual. Hum, de. Example is Hum Jalasu for masculine plural. Hunna means de. Example is Hunna Jalasna for feminine plural. Two, the attached. 
third person pronoun, a domiral motesilal in the guard. The top third person pronouns, like others, are those pronouns joined with other words. They can as well be joined to a verb, a noun, or a preposition. One, when added to a verb, it functions as a subject, file, or as an object, maf'ul bihi. Two, when joined with a noun, it is a possessive pronoun, mudafu ilayhi. Three, when added with a preposition, it functions as an object of a preposition, ismu majiru. When they attach third person pronouns added to the verbs in the position of subject, file, we have kataba. Kataba means he wrote. Plus, hidden pronoun hua becomes kataba, he wrote for masculine. So the subject here is hidden pronoun hua, kataba, plus Tautani Sasakina becomes Katabat she wrote for feminine. The subject here is Ta Kataba plus Alif becomes Kataba they wrote for dual. So the subject here is Alif Kataba plus Wow makes Katabu they wrote a masculine plural. The subject here is wow, kataba, plus noon, becomes katabna, they wrote for feminine plural. So subject here is na, or noon. When the attached third person pronouns added to verbs, in the position of objects of ulubihi, then we have the rub to, I bit, plus who becomes the rub to who I bit him for masculine. So the object here is who. The rub to plus ha becomes the rub to ha I bit her for feminine. So the object here is ha. The rub to plus huma becomes the rub to huma I bit them for dual. So the object here is huma. The rub to plus whom makes the rub to whom I bid them for masculine plural. So the object here is whom. The rub to plus hunna becomes the rub to hunna I bid them for feminine plural. So the object here is hunna. When you touch third person pronouns added to nouns, a function as possessive pronoun, mudofu ilayhi. Then we have kitabu, which means a book. Plus, who becomes kitabuhu, his book for masculine. So the possessive pronoun here is who. Kitab plus ha becomes kitabuha, her book for feminine. So the possessive pronoun here is ha, kitabu, plus huma, becomes kitabu huma, their book for dual. So the possessive pronoun here is huma, kitabu, plus hum, becomes kitabu hum, their book for masculine plural. So the possessive pronoun here is hum, kitabu, plus hunna, makes kitabu hunna, their book for feminine plural. So the possessive pronoun here is hunna. When the attached third person pronouns add to prepositions, the function as the object of the preposition is much rule. We have illa, which means to, plus who, comes ilayhu, to him. So the object of the preposition here is who, illa, plus Ha becomes Ilaiha to her for feminine. So the object of the preposition here is Ha. Ila plus Huma becomes Ilaihima to them for dual. So the object of the preposition here is Huma. Ila plus Hum becomes Ilaihim to them for masculine plural. So the object of the preposition here is Hum. 
Ella plus hun becomes a lay hidden to them for feminine plural. So the object of the preposition here is hun. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Join us in the next lesson for another episode of Speak Arabic with Obakids. Thanks, Sukura, Alain, Mustafa. Thanks for watching. Catch the front of the channel, watch LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.